There are multiple choices for outputs on the Arietta 850. Composite, YC or S video, SDI, and DVI. The YC, composite, and DVI outputs come from the back of the Arietta 850 and are easily accessible through a door on the back of the processor. The SDI output comes from the DVI to SDI converter box, which we will discuss next. All of these outputs can be used for additional monitors. The best image quality will be with the SDI signal. All Arietta 850 processors come standard with a DVI to SDI converter. The converter sits on the back of the Arietta 850 and should turn on when the system boots up. If you do not see a blue light around the power button on the converter, press the converter power button to turn it on. The YC, composite, and SDI outputs can also be used for the picture-in-picture -picture function. The YC and SDI picture-in-picture -picture connections are located in the back of the CV190. The composite picture-in-picture -picture connection is located on the front of the CV190. After attaching the cable of choice for picture-in-picture, -picture, check that the ultrasound image appears on the room monitor. To do this, first ensure both the Arietta 850 and CV190 are on and a scope is plugged in. Test that the picture-in-picture -picture function is working by pressing Custom 1 on the front of the CV190. A subscreen should appear on the monitor. If the subscreen appears gray, press either the Input Select button on the CV190 keyboard or the Custom 2 button on the front of the CV190. The system will flip through the different input options each time either of these are pressed. Continue to press one of these buttons until the ultrasound image appears. If the subscreen is still gray after flipping through all of the input options and you are using the SDI output from the Arietta 850, check that the converter box on the back of the Arietta 850 is on. If you are not using the SDI output, but rather composite, make sure that the cable is connected to the front of the CV190 and not the back. If the subscreen is still gray, check the cable on another monitor. The cable may be damaged.